Hello everyone, my name is Bindu and in this video we are going to talk about SQL Server Database File Management. To fully understand database file management, we need to understand few terms and they are files and extensions and file groups. Let's start by understanding what files and extensions are. In SQL Server, we have three types of extensions. They are MDF, NDF and LDF. MDF stands for master data file and it is the primary data file for a database. We can have only one master data file per database. This primary data file, it consists of user data and objects related to a database. It consists of uh, all user objects like tables, stored procedures, views, indexes, etc. And NDF, NDF is a non-master data file. Uh, this is the secondary data file per database. You can have any number of NDF files per database. Uh, when you have multiple NDF files or even one NDF file, the locations of these other data files will be stored in primary data file. That is, the location of all these NDF files will be stored in the MDF file. So when you are uh, creating a database, you first need to uh, create MDF file and then you need to create the uh, NDF files and next comes the LDF file. LDF file stands for log data file. Log data files are used while uh, we are recovering, while, while we are trying to recover the database. So the main purpose of log files are to, uh, are for uh, database recovery and uh, they can, there should be at least one log file per database and they can be any number of log files. Uh, let's see how we can use these MDF, NDF and LDF files in real time. In this example, I'm creating a database file extensions and I'm using all three file extensions here, MDF, NDF and LDF. In this example, I'm having a one MDF file which is mandatory and because MDF is the primary data file, I'm creating this at the beginning. So MDF is the first file that I'm creating, followed by NDF files. NDF files are not mandatory. You can either have them or skip them. So I'm, in this example, I'm creating two NDF files. And after creating NDF files, I'm creating a LDF file. And LDF file is a mandatory one. We should have at least one log file per database. And I can have any number of log files. In this example, I'm creating just one LDF file and I'm executing this uh, query. Now I'll have, I'll see the database in my databases um, folder here. I have the uh, database file extensions. If I go look at the path here, I should see all my MDF and LDF files in this location. I have the file extensions here. Okay, when if if someone comes and uh, detaches the database, see, I'm detaching the database here. So an easy way to attach the database is right click on the database here, say attach, and then you have to choose the MDF uh, file. You need to go to the MDF file path here and just select your MDF file and that's it. Th because the MDF file has the location of all other data files, you don't have to add all of them manually. When you just add the MDF file, it uh, that MDF file itself take care of adding other data files. So I'm just adding the MDF file here and just saying OK and my database is ready here. So this is how you um, use MDF, NDF and LDF files in real time.